Chattanooga's Office of Community Health proposed a violence prevention initiative during tonight's public safety meeting. The new team is responsible for advancing health equality and formulating a strategic plan to prevent violence. Riley Nagel reports their plans start with the young people. Dr. Lambert, head of Chattanooga's Community Health, spoke about ways of addressing gun violence in the city. She says it starts by reaching out to teens and young adults. They've seen it, they've been, a, uh, they've been a victim of it. We know that we really need to intervene with those young people. Chattanooga's Office of Community Health has been working for months building a framework to prevent gun violence without enhancing Chattanooga's police department. Hopefully at some point, totally prevent gun violence. Dr. Lambert has been hearing from community leaders, local health experts, and the solution they're proposing is to have wraparound services for at-risk children and their families. So if young children have experienced or seen violence or traumatized, and so we certainly need to intervene with those individuals, with those families, so that that doesn't repeat itself. Dr. Lambert says the city would like at-risk families to have access to counselors, parenting classes, and to attend family activity events in the summer and during holiday breaks during the school year. You know, if there's not things for folks to do, for children to do, for youth to do, uh, that's when things tend to happen. Two of the three victims from the Macaulay Avenue shooting in June were under the age of 25. Dr. Lambert says they hope to make Chattanooga a safer place to live by using their holistic and collaborative approach. We see these large, um, very unfortunate events. Um, so it, it will prevent some of that. Not all of it, but we wanted to call our framework the framework for preventing gun violence. Dr. Lambert believes most gun violence is taught at home and by reaching out to families, educating them on gun violence and helping children recover from trauma, they can reduce gun violence assist that child and that family in getting past that. Otherwise, um, there's a better than fair chance that we're going to see some of that again. Dr. Lambert said their violence prevention document is just a starting point and it will change. City leaders want to hear from the public with any ideas they have to address gun violence. She recommends people to attend city council meetings and speak out during public comment. Reporting in Chattanooga, I'm Riley Nagel, Local 3 News.